We're going to review the factors affecting climate. Uh, let's remember that there's three factors. The first factor is latitude. And latitude is your location on the Earth. So if you are on the Earth and you are at zero degrees latitude, that is the equator. And that's the warmest place on Earth because the sun shines directly upon the equator. Uh, the area surrounding the equator from 0 to about 32 degrees latitude is called the tropical zone. And this area in here will always have a warm climate. Uh, many of the places in this tropical zone uh, are near water, so the uh, tropical climate is also a moist climate. So 32 degrees latitude uh, is the border of the tropical climate. Then you get down to uh, the ends of the planet. Um, those two ends are called the poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. And at about 60 degrees latitude, uh, the polar climate begins. This is 60 degrees south latitude because it's south of the equator. And this is 60 degrees north latitude because it's north of the equator. And both of these climate zones here are called the polar climate zones. And it is cold there. And you have to think about up in the North Pole, um, where the polar bears live, and down in the South Pole, where the penguins live. It's very cold. So these two climates are cold climates. And the area in between is called a temperate climate. And a temperate climate is the type of climate where uh, you would have uh, winter months where it is cold, and then you will have summer months where it is hot. So if you think about the United States, um, the uh, northern uh, states have a temperate climate because they uh, have a winter season, and in the summer they have five or six months of uh, summer season. And those climate regions are in between 32 and 60. So anywhere uh, in here would be a temperate climate. So if, imagine that you're at 40, let's say 42 degrees north latitude, and somebody else is at 46 degrees south latitude. People in those two areas, even though their latitudes are a little bit different, are both in the temperate climate zone, so they would have the same climate. And the reason being is because they are the same distance approximately away from the equator. Now, someone at 33 degrees south latitude and someone at 59 degrees north latitude would have different climates because this climate is almost polar climates quite close and this one is almost a tropical climate because it's quite close to the equator. This is south latitude and this is north latitude. The next factor affecting climate is elevation and elevation is something that tells us how high up from ground we are. And elevation is determined by how far above the surface of the earth you are. Okay, So down here, let's say this would be at sea level, uh, which is the level of the oceans or the seas. And as you get increasingly higher, um, it's called elevation. And typically, we measure it in thousands of feet. So this would be 1,000 feet above sea level, 2,000 feet above sea level, 3,000 feet above sea level, 4,000 feet, and so on. Uh, 5,000 feet above sea level is um, 
that's approximately um, the edge of the uh, Sierra Nevada mountain range. Uh, it's a beautiful area, but it's got a much cooler climate than um, the area just below it. So this would have a much warmer climate, and as you go up uh, the mountains, uh, you would have a much cooler climate. So the higher up you go, the cooler it gets. Uh, don't forget that in the summer months, uh, this would be a cooler place than here. So let's say if it were 100 degrees Fahrenheit down here, it would probably be between 60 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit up here. So, uh, you know, a 30 to 40 degree uh, change in uh, the temperature. And the last factor that we're going to talk about that affects climate is your proximity to water. Okay? And proximity to water means how close you are to a large body of water. So proximity is closeness. And if you are, let's say, in the U.S., just draw a cartoon version of the United States. Uh, let's say you're in a place like Orlando in the middle of the summertime and uh, your friend is over on the coast in Miami. Uh, your friend is actually in much closer proximity to water. So your friend would actually have um, a cooler uh, climate over here. So if you're uh, inland, that means you're in land, you would have a much warmer climate than somebody who is on the coast. And so we need to remember that when it's warm, you get cooler near the water. So you go near the water to cool off. And let's remember that um, the northern states are in the temperate zone, so they have winter um, cold winter months and warm summer months. So let's say, for example, it's winter time and you are um, in Rochester, New York, uh, which is on the, um, the coast of uh, Lake Ontario. So actually, I keep drawing Lake Ontario, sorry, please. Uh, Rochester, New York, you're on the coast. Uh, and then somebody else is inland in New York, um, say not very close to a large body of water. Lake Ontario is a, quite a large body of water. The person that's inland in New York in the wintertime would actually have a colder climate because when the weather or the climate is cold, it will be actually warmer near the water. And you have to think about it in the winter time. Uh, lakes and rivers uh, freeze after the ground freezes. So this lake uh, may not be frozen and the ground is frozen here. So you would go to water to get warm. And the way I remember this is I picture a polar bear walking around on the ice and he can still uh, get a drink out of the ocean. So he will go where the ocean is to get a drink. And the reason that he can get a drink there is because it's much warmer uh, near the water. So the water is not frozen. So it's warmer near the water in a cold climate.